the most asked question number one is Trudy uh, are you pregnant and that is the number one most asked question and that's why today I'm here to answer all your questions bring them on the my channel thank you so much for clicking it's been a minute have you missed me though have you that's the question the question is not where i have been the question is have you missed me i just want to know if this is real love you know or you guys just forget about me when i'm not online you know <laughs> anyway it will take so long for me to explain what has been going on it's been a lot but you guys will know as we go along I just wanted to do this video because about a week ago I posted a post on my insta stories which if you are not following me on Instagram come on now come on now I am a studio on Instagram so make sure you follow me I posted and I asked you guys to ask me questions you know um, because I feel like I'm in the mood of answering your questions I always feel like when I sit down like this to talk to you guys like we connect do you get like do you, I just feel like oh, we are having our mom. It's like we're on a date, just me and my subscribers, and we can talk and it's intimate. So I hope you guys love this kind of videos because I don't do them often, but when I do, you know what? Matter of fact, I think I should do more videos just sitting down, just heart to heart. So drop a comment, let me know what other video do you want me to just sit down and talk to you guys about. Anyway, I'm gonna jump into the questions that I asked you on Instagram because there are so many, you guys. Oh my gosh, there are so many questions. I asked you guys, um, I wanna do a question and answer video on my YouTube channel. Um, so ask me something and wow there were so many questions so let me get started first of all thank you so much for all you guys who are following me on instagram and who you know ask me the questions here we go i'm gonna try to read as much as i can okay i hope you guys enjoy this video if you do make sure you uh subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed and give the video a thumbs up if you haven't given the video a thumbs up already so first question apart from vlogging what other things do you do that's from overdose joss on instagram so apart from um content creation you guys already know that i am into real estate <laughs> i am into real estate i am laughing because my camera guy is making faces i'm like why are you making faces why are you making faces you said you're into real estate but it's true though and i am into real estate and uh yeah so it's my other passion so yeah okay the next question when you proposed to maya in nigeria was it for views or you meant it it was content idea when you say for views it's like of course every video you put up you want to get views but it was a content idea and i'm so glad i did it and uh, that video has brought a lot of controversy it can't be this is a video we shot like three years ago in nigeria but the hand guys are still talking about it oh that video some people said oh how can a girl propose to a man oh run with the maya run you know you guys are crazy but um of course of course i meant it and uh it wasn't for views it was just an idea but all the ideas we hope bring views you you get where it's, it's leading right I DM'd you, you never replied. Aki, I'm so sorry. There's been so much going on. If you've noticed, I even took a break from Instagram. I've not been on Instagram. Sometimes I just feel like we need a break, you know. You just need a break. Sometimes I just get overwhelmed. So I'm sorry. I someone is saying, is it a question? I want to open a YouTube channel for my friend. I don't know if that's a question, but I think you should go for it. Um, do you charge for collaborations? No, I don't charge for collaborations. I do not. Someone is saying to me, who miss YouTube, do you promise to upload every day? Let me tell you something. I would love to be uploading every day. But the thing is, it's really not easy. Uh, yeah, it's really not easy. Because life is becoming busy. There's so much going on. But I'll try to upload as much as I can from now moving forward. So, yeah. But thank you so much for missing me. I feel loved. It makes me feel like that's so sweet. So, thank you what is your last month youtube income hey hey wow uh that's kind of a personal question kind of a but 
um, I just say that it was it's, it's good money something that I'm grateful for you know it's been really good money so yeah I'm happy with what I made should I say what I made <laughs> ah, you think I should say what I made you think so hey you guys so I sent care oh thank I'm not in Kenya I'm not in Kenya will this Ghana guys come for me babes they're called Ghana what Ghana revenue authorities Kenya is Kenya revenue authorities it's same same Ghana revenue authorities I, I don't want them to come for me oh and you know I'm in a strange country what, what, what? anyway I'm just messing with you guys but yes another person asked are you pregnant Trudy I already answered that question how are you doing really um I feel like that's that this this is someone who's really concerned you know it's not how are you doing but how are you doing really with a question mark and a comma before they really so I'm just doing okay you know life has been crazy but it's life you know a lot of things happening I'm now in a new stage of my life you know I can't believe that I'm a married woman so you know I am adjusting to all this and then you guys also know that I relocated to Ghana so it's different it's different and I'm just trying to take it all in um, yeah so generally I'm doing okay but then I just so much going on do you get like just being in a new country the weather is different I don't have friends here it's just me myself and I <laughs> It's me, myself and I. I don't have friends. Which is okay because I'm an introvert anyway. Uh, yeah. But I think I am in uh, the family I'm married to is like really loving, really welcoming. And um, I wouldn't say I'm lonely. I don't have friends but I'm not lonely because I have family. And sometimes I think the less friends you have, the less trouble, you know. So I'm good. So generally, I'm okay. My life is not perfect. It's like a lot of ups and downs and you know so many changes as you guys can imagine like now I'm married. It's like what me me married Wow, but then you know you go adjusting you go, I go learning you know different cultures You know like here we don't have the food that I have in Kenya. So I am adjusting to you know the food the weather the people their culture it's just a lot to learn what is the one thing you believe sets you apart from other people content and content creators well I don't know you tell me you guys who watch me let me know uh, I feel like everyone has something unique about them what's unique about me what's unique about me babes what's unique about me what sets me apart I don't know just me just the fact that I'm Trudy you know like I'm just me. The, you know, everyone has their own personality. You drop a comment. Help me out. Let me know. What do you think sets me apart from other content creators and other people? Uh, I don't know my personality, but I wouldn't really describe it because I don't want to come out as if I'm blowing my own trumpet. Just do me a favor. Drop a comment. Let me know what you love most about me, about my channel, about what I do. Let's have that conversation in the comment section. What can you say about Ghana's economy currently? What advice can you give to a visitor? Well, let me tell you something. Ghana is an expensive place. Extremely expensive. I know life is hard everywhere. Kenya also life is hard. But you know, Ghana also being that Ghana has one of the strongest currencies in Africa. The Ghana city is so strong. And just because of that already, it makes Ghana a very expensive country to live in, especially as a foreigner, who our currency, from a country whose currency is not that strong, so you find that with many Kenya shillings, you can do very little because the Ghana city is so strong, you know. So it, that's the thing. Ghana is a very expensive place. Um, yeah, but other than that, uh, Ghana is okay. Um, comparing to where I'm coming from, it depends on what you're looking at. Honestly, I've not studied economies, countries' economies. So I don't go that deep. But it depends on what you're looking at. Um, have I answered your question? Someone is asking what's your Luo name? So, 
I love to answer this. For you guys who do not know, I am a Kenyan cocktail. So what does that mean? What it means is that I, I am a mixture of three tribes in Kenya. My mom was a pure Kikuyu. My dad was a three over four, three over four Luo and one over four Luya. So I'm a combination of all these tribes and I'm so proud to let you guys know that I am half Kikuyu and these other combinations. You guys always correct me like truly not to third. Oh, did you say a fourth? Did you? But yes, I am a mixture of all these tribes. So my names are Gachud, Awino, Juma, Jerry. Gachud is my English name. Awino is my Luo name. Jerry is my Kikuyu name. And Juma is my family name, my dad's name. So yeah, that's it. Talking about my dad, someone is asking, uh, now that I'm in Ghana, what happened to my dad's house? So my dad's house is still under construction. Um, yeah, we're getting there slow but sure. Trust me when it happens, I will let you guys know. So when it's done, I'll definitely give you guys the final tour of the house. Someone is asking, how does it feel to live in Ghana permanently? Well, so far so good. I have nothing to complain about. Uh, yeah but i'll keep you guys posted as we go as we go on oh another question that we were asking a lot is about the wedding i have someone asking the wedding i had was it my dream wedding and i'm like i've never had a dream wedding i'm those girls who i've always been like you know what as long as i get married that's fine i saw always about oh you know we're gonna have this bridesmaids we're gonna walk down it's just it's just a wedding you know for me that's how i see it just get married with the person you love be happy i feel like spending too much money on a wedding is just sad it's very it's a it's a it's a bad decision to make better <laughs> you see better add this to the video <laughs> <laughs> oh my god guys so where where were we um as i was saying someone's asking how do you find marriage and uh yeah someone actually asked that with a laughing emoji like oh do you feel so confined now and i'm like no i'm happy i'm with the person i love uh he's the love of my of my life i'm the love of his life so i mean what more could you ask for do you get so i am honestly happy someone else says uh trudy used to have tattoos um how many do you have and long ago i used to see you with a nose piercing where did it go don't even get me started you know what yes i have tattoos i have two tattoos i have this one it says i'm the best uh i got this tattoo at a time when i was so insecure about who i am i was so confused and scared and i didn't think i was capable and i just got to remind myself that you know what i have what it takes you know and this second tattoo is um very close that's it love mom and um, that was in honor of my mom because you guys know my mom passed away when i was 16 and uh yeah i just wanted something that reminds me of my mom so there you go it's like i'll forever love my mom so those are the two tattoos i have about my nose piercing don't even get me started that thing i had hey that was, number one that was my favorite piercing ever i loved that piercing but we had a problem guys after three years of having the piercing it wasn't healing yo so it always used to be so painful like sometimes i'd be washing my face and i move it by mistake and the pain if you can relate drop a comment if you have a nose piercing just drop a comment hey guys the pain you know or i'd sleep it will come off then putting it back even like an hour later okay when i wake up in the morning is so hard it's like kind of blocked so painful and i'm like what is this so one day i traveled i went somewhere and uh it it got lost and i was like you know what i'll put it back when i think i had gone to nakuru i was like i'll put it back when i go to nairobi but the time i was getting to nairobi about three days later guys i tried i tried it, it was so painful and i was like you know what no i can't keep doing this like that's like the hundredth time such a thing was happening and i was i just i'm done i was like i'm done i'm done so yeah that's what happened to my nose piercing but honestly i want to do another nose piercing i'm just scared because like i don't want to put something that won't heal but i've been told it's because i shot it with a gun i probably need to do it with a needle the way these guys do it with with is it needle 
thorn <laughs> guys with a thorn but that, that's so scary for me but yeah I, I really miss my nose piercing i really oh, let me know what have been your experiences with piercings especially nose piercings i used to look so hot with my nose piercing i think that's what made maya fall for me <laughs> he saw the piercing he was like damn okay of course i'm just messing with you guys i'm just messing someone is saying Trudy, are you planning to come to the u.s with your hubby i'm definitely going to the u.s but not to stay you guys already know east or west home is best africa is home and i just love africa like i'm so at peace when i'm in africa you know and i just enjoy it so much so yes we'll definitely go to the u.s but we we'll always come back home um what is your greatest fear my greatest fear is just I think it's changing i was about to say my greatest fear is uh being a failure and stuff like that but then you know that's broad you need to be specific like you need to know what exactly is success for you and success for everybody is different you need to define it for yourself and then well i think now i can say my biggest fear is to live a life that is not like worthy of god and then finally you go to heaven and god is like you guys you get i just want to live a life that you know at the end i have made god proud in every way in every angle can you relate i hope you can that's, that's just how i feel i hope i hope i have answered that question what is your source of income apart from youtube i already told you guys real estate is my source of income someone is asking are you gonna do a white wedding uh well um maybe i'm gonna do a white wedding maybe uh but honestly for me it's not a priority whether it happens or not weddings have just never been a big deal for me i used to watch this wedding shows you know when people couples are married and they're so happy and weddings are flashy expensive big cakes you know big dresses <laughs> but I, I never felt like oh i want that of course i would see, see them be like oh it's cute oh that's so cute oh she's so beautiful but then me wanting that for myself nah i'm not like most girls so if it happens great if it doesn't as long as you do things the right way which is you know seeing the parents paying the dowry you know i'm good with anything so yeah for me that's not a priority but if it happens well great so now that you are married to a fellow youtuber are you going to do videos together of course wait for more content coming your way in fact you know what because you say that i think the next video after this i should upload a video with him what do you think just because you asked you guys already know that your wish is my command so yeah <laughs> just finished watching maya's last video and you guys were in a chemist are you feeling okay yeah i'm feeling okay that was just we happened to be in a chemist um what motivates you honestly now that i think of it number one is god i just feel like we all have a purpose you know and god created me for something bigger than than just what is here you know so because of that i feel like i just feel like i have a bigger purpose so that keeps me going you know because i want to be the truest and highest version of myself so i keep pushing every day um yeah number two it's my dad my dad is just i don't know my dad he's my biggest supporter and he loves me so much i don't know every time i talk to him i feel motivated every time i talk to him i feel like i need to push when i want to give up and i talk to my dad i feel like i need to keep going and then i just have the best dad in the world and everything he tells me gives me hope you know i think my dad is such such a big a big motivation and of course my husband <laughs> so yeah like i feel like my husband has accomplished so much and just looking at him makes me feel like nothing is impossible you know like hanging out with him makes me feel like yo like there's really nothing impossible he's done it you know and he says it you know and yeah someone is saying do you prefer the uk or the us let me tell you something i've always wanted to go to the uk in my mind i thought i'll go to the uk 
when I was a kid, not to stay there, mm -mm, to just visit London used to fascinate me. I love the way they speak, you know, their accents is just, oh. You know, the Queen's English, all these things, the buildings, when you see the buildings in London, you're like, wow, the structures are so unique. So I always told myself, I've got to go to London. To my surprise, I happened to go to, you know, America before I went to the UK. And uh, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. I love America, but I would love to go to London. Like, yeah, just to visit, just to see it, just to fulfill. Should I say a fantasy or a dream that I always had and then, you know, come back to Africa. That would be like I've ticked something in my bucket list for sure when I go to London. And someone also asked me, are you going to London with Maya? Well, no, 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 because I have to go back to Kenya to get the visa because I'm not Ghanaian. Someone said I can get the visa in Ghana, but I have to be, I have to have lived in Ghana for six months to be able to get the what kids? Resident permit. Resident permit. So, yeah, until then. So, because of that, uh, I will go, but not soon. Then someone has also said, Oh, Trudy, don't let getting married stop you. Upload, upload. <laughs> I'm like, What? You seriously think getting married will slow me down? If I don't upload on YouTube, there's a very good reason. Yeah, and I just feel like some things I can't, ex I can't explain everything on camera. But uh, guys, don't get worried. Don't think that, oh, now that she's married, she's forgot about YouTube. Hell no. I love YouTube. And um, yeah, I'll always create content unless I can't, you know. So, yeah, when you see me gone for a while, just know I'll always come back, okay. But it's so sweet when you guys are so concerned, you know. Um, Someone says, what do you miss about Kenya the most? My dad. No lie. Another question was, how is your dad coping with your move? Ghana I'm like oh it's not easy it's not easy because uh what do I say it's not easy because you guys know I don't have a mom and so me and my dad have I've grown up being very close with my dad because he's done everything for us you know where I am today has been possible because of my dad you know of course god and then my dad all the sacrifices he made so we're pretty close so me being in ghana is hard for both of us but i talk to him almost every day it's crazy i talk to him almost every day and there's just so much to talk about you know so it's hard but uh we are finding ways to make it easier Although we are far from each other, uh, we try to communicate as much as we can and we're also working on other ways to make things easy for both of us. Mm -hmm. Someone is asking, uh, how did you know Maya is the one? Hey, sh that's a good question. Babes, how did I know you're the one? How, how did you know I am the one? First of all. Okay, <laughs> Maya is blushing behind the cameras. Let me show you Maya blushing. <laughs> okay fine take it take it <laughs> so how did i know maya was the one you know what in the beginning i really didn't know i was so scared you guys know these things we hear about west african guys nigerians and Ghanaians. you know you know you know how we say they say it in east africa oh all oh, these guys especially in kenya they talk about how oh these west african guys they just come impregnate our kenyan girls and disappear hey so i was scared honestly but um, i used to pray because i had such peace when i was with maya i just feel like i'm at peace you know but then i was scared but then i just took it one day at a time i used to pray you know i used to pray and i'm just glad it it has turned out well how i knew maya was the one that's a deep question but it's just i just feel like maya is different you know he's my kind of person like you know these stupid stupid behaviors that some people have he doesn't have those behaviors he's just an upright guy he's extremely hardworking. i feel like i'm not answering that question i feel like i need to say something specific to answer that question it's just that we've been through so many things so much has happened it's hard to pick one thing and say oh this was it this was it i don't know you're the one babes I'm sure I've told you. I've told things have happened and I've told you. Oh, babes, when you did this, I knew it. <sighs> babes, help me out. I don't know. So, I don't know. We've, we've had so many things, you know. So many, I don't know, emotional experiences, crazy experiences. 
and every time it happens i think it just flows and it goes naturally and you feel comfortable but let me tell you one thing i'm not i'm not an easy person i am i am a handful i know that i'm not easy like i have i have issues not like bad bad issues but i'm a, let me say i'm a difficult person um but every time stuff happens every time uh we get mad at each other for example and i'm like i'm done i'm done like maya would always come back you know and he'd apologize even for what i did wrong <laughs> He apologized for what I did wrong and I was like, oh, I'm so sorry and I'm like, oh, I feel so guilty down in my heart because I know he shouldn't be apologizing, you know Every time I think because me I like I'm a no-nonsense person I don't know if you guys can tell that on my channel like I don't take nonsense like And I'm not gonna beg you if you love me. You love me. We're doing this if you're doing this if you're not we are not Bye you get so for when things always used to happen and I'm like I'm done and Maya will come back and I'm like I'm sorry and I'm like oh but I should be the one saying sorry it happened so many times and I was like oh my god like this guy really loves me like he's so humble you know I think he really loves me like he didn't let his pride come between between us you know I think many men have pride but I think he loved me so much to humble himself and put down his pride and it just fascinates me you know how you know and i think that's something that's one of the reasons why we've come this far so <laughs> yawato <laughs> which app do you use to edit your videos these days i use the app on my iphone it's called it's called iMovie not iMovie CapCut CapCut uh, someone is asking what happened to your apartment in Kilimani well my apartment is still there it's gonna be an Airbnb been buying things for the apartment filling it up so watch out very soon it's gonna it's gonna be on the you know or your Airbnb so you're gonna have to come to my apartment spend a night or two there so it's there basically um, my family goes there every once in a while I haven't uh, put it up on Airbnb officially, but I'm planning to do that this holiday season. I love you and your husband, Trudy. Oh, thank you so much. Someone else is asking, uh, when you do real estate videos, do you pay the real estate company? No, it's the other way around. They pay content creators because you're promoting them. Yes? Um, yeah, someone else is asking, this is very funny. Um, do you wish you had a Kenyan boyfriend sometimes so that you don't have to move up and down <laughs> Leaving the country coming back. No, I don't wish I had a, a Kenyan boyfriend as in I feel like it's fun when I have a Ghanaian boyfriend first of all, you know I feel it's I don't know how to put it but like myself i am a mixture of two tribes in kenya so it would be so cool for my kids to be a mixture of two countries you know it's pretty dope plus africa is big why refrain yourself in one country and then we are all africans we are all black people we are all the same just divided by the borders so no i'm so happy that i had a Ghanaian boyfriend who is now my husband yeah i mean i feel like it will no i'm good let me just say i'm good i'm good yeah i think i have answered most of the questions as much as i can i really hope you guys have enjoyed the video i'm um, sorry asking are you happy pretty much yeah i'm happy i can't complain mm. when i when are you and maya coming to burundi i've been to burundi before i love burundi one of the most beautiful countries let me tell you something my two top countries in africa when it comes to natural beauty is burundi and sierra leone oh so good but my hasn't been to burundi he was working on that the last time i checked so i'm gonna ask him when he when he's gonna be coming how old are you this is okay these are some of the commonly asked questions trudy the most asked question number one is trudy uh are you pregnant and i'm like hey hey hold on um 
when it happens you guys will know you already i'm seeing videos all over i'm seeing it on maya's videos you know guys are saying all sorts of things guys when it happens like you'll know just take a chill pill that is the number one most asked question and that's why today i'm here to answer all your questions bring them on the second most asked question is how old are you so i'm gonna ask you guys how old do i look like how old do i look like i am 20 something <laughs> so i'm 20 something okay i am in my 20s yeah but drop a comment let me know how old do i look like just looking at me like this screen to screen how is your dad doing my dad is doing great uh yeah so i think that is it guys i have answered so many of your questions i hope this video has been fun and I hope you guys feel like you know me better. I really hope, uh, yeah, you learned something new about me. So if you have, please show me some love. Give the video a thumbs up. Share the video and also, what else should I do? Leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't already. I love you so much for watching. Um, yeah, so subscribe. Let's get to 400,000 subscribers. Until next time. Mwah.